Here are six reasons you should install iOS 12.3 and a few reasons that you should hold off. I'm Josh Smith with GotToBeMobile.com. I'm going to walk you through a few different new features, some bug fixes, and other important information so that you know what's new in iOS 12.3 and so that you can figure out if you should install iOS 12.3 right now or if you should wait a little bit. There's two major entertainment features and I'm going to break those out. The first is AirPlay 2. This is an upgrade to AirPlay which allows you to send something like a video or a photo right from your iPhone or iPad or even your Mac if you're running the new version of Mac OS to an Apple TV, but now there's support for AirPlay enabled smart displays. So those are things like Samsung TVs if they're recent, there's gonna be updates for mini Vizio TVs that'll let you use these. So without an Apple TV connected, you can mirror straight to that TV. It's really slick, it's really awesome, and it's a big reason that you should upgrade, especially if you have one of these capable displays. AirPlay 2 also lets you easily send video with one touch and resume where you were at. You also get Siri suggestions. Siri suggestions on your phone will now include an AirPlay option so you can AirPlay to your Apple TV or an AirPlay 2 enabled display. Another reason to install iOS 12.3 is the upgraded Apple TV app. Apple upgraded the Apple TV app that we've seen before and now it has a new design. There's some more partnerships, so you have integration with HBO, Stars, and a couple other places like that. And you can even subscribe right in the Apple TV app. Now, the Apple TV app is not perfect. There's some weird issues if you're trying to watch on your phone where it won't go into full screen by default. And then if you tap the full screen button, it goes into full screen portrait mode. There's still some issues and some oddities. So it's not a reason for everyone to install, but if you're really into that iOS movie ecosystem on iTunes and in the supported apps, it's something that's worth considering. If you subscribe to Apple News Plus, you get access to tons of magazines. And now with iOS 12.3, it's much easier to quickly follow a magazine from the browse view. Apple Music is also improved with some new personalization features. So if you're in the For You section, it's gonna update multiple times during the day based on genres, mood, and other things that it picks up based on your listening habits. There are three major bug fixes listed. There's probably a few more. And so if you experience any of these issues, it's a big reason to upgrade. The first issue is with the Apple TV remote app. So if you're using that, and you can't control volume or other playback features with certain receivers, you're gonna definitely wanna install this update. If you use Wi-Fi calling, which lets you make calls when cell signals are weak and your calls keep dropping, that's fixed. So iOS 12.3 will make Wi-Fi calling work a lot better. So if you do that a lot, definitely install this upgrade. Another fix in iOS 12.3 is if your car wasn't showing the song information, now iOS 12.3 should fix that when you're connected to your car with your iPhone. Another reason to install, and a really important one, is the plethora of security fixes. So Apple includes, I believe, 23 security fixes in iOS 12.3, and basically that's gonna make your phone much more secure. Another reason that you should install iOS 12.3 is so you can install watchOS 5.2.1. There's a couple fixes, but the big thing is new features for people who are in Croatia, the Czech Republic, Iceland, Poland, and Slovakia. If you have an Apple Watch 4 and you live in one of those countries, you'll now have the ECG feature. And if you have other Apple Watches, you'll have the irregular heart rhythm detection. One of the big bug fixes was for the Apple Watch Series 3 with LTE, which had the Explorer face and numbers weren't showing. That should fix that. So if you own the Apple Watch Series 3 with LTE and you use the Explorer face, definitely install so you get watchOS 5.2.1. Now for the reasons not to install iOS 12.3. The first reason you shouldn't install is if you're not prepared. So this could be that your phone's not backed up, you're not in a situation where you have good Wi-Fi or access to power, you don't have enough time to download the update and install it and then be able to troubleshoot, or if you're traveling. All these issues could really compound if you're traveling or you run into an issue and you don't have a good backup or you're just not prepared. So take a little bit of time, research the update, Make sure you have a good backup and do all that before you install. We haven't seen a lot of iOS 12.3 specific problems yet. It's only been about a day. We waited so we could take a look and see if they're out there. While we haven't seen a ton yet, there's always a chance that there might be a lingering issue. So if you're worried about problems, hold off, wait a few more days. A lot of people wanna be cautious and kind of wait and see if other people have a problem because while you can downgrade for a limited time, it's kind of a hassle for a regular user. So maybe hold off, wait and see if anyone has problems. You can check at Gotta Be Mobile, you can check in forums, you can check on social media, ask your friends. The final reason you shouldn't install the update is if you're jailbroken. There's no iOS 12 jailbreak yet. It's iffy whether we'll see one based on everything going on in that community. So don't upgrade to this and lose your jailbreak. 
Thanks for joining me to take a look at whether or not you should install iOS 12.3 on your iPhone or iPad. You can find out more. There'll be some links down in the description below. If you found this video useful, please hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll get a notification as soon as we post a new video. And thanks for watching.